All right, now we're doing 8Q Counting Sheep. This is by TF Cameron, and 88% of people like it. We're going to consider an array of sheep where some sheep may be missing from their place. We need a function that counts the number of sheep present in the array. Uh, and true means present. For example, all this, there's 17 trues in this array. And we're going to not forget to check for bad values like null or undefined. All right. So right here, we're going to just start by making this concise syntax. We're going to say const count sheeps equals array of sheep. And then the rest of it, we're going to turn into an arrow. All right. Down here, we're going to say console.log so it's easy to test while we go. And then we're going to start off right here by saying array of sheep dot filter. All right. And if you don't know about the filter method, we're going to come over here and check this out. Uh, the filter method creates a shallow copy of a portion of a given array filtered down to just the elements from the given array that pass the test implemented by the provided function. For the syntax we're going to use, we're going to be using this callback function syntax where we're going to have filter and inside of here, we're going to have a callback function. Uh, for the callback function, we're just going to be using this Boolean constructor, which can uh, create a Boolean object, can create Boolean objects or return primitive values of type Boolean, all right? Uh, so basically, it just works like the string constructor or the number constructor where uh, it also acts as a, as a function telling if it's a, seeing if something's a Boolean or not, all right? So we're just going to say in here, Boolean, all right? And we're going to test that out. And you can see it gives us this array with all the trues in it. And uh, so we're just going to count that up by using a dot length right like that test it out 17 17 looks good let's get rid of this console.log test it out one more time all right attempt it and submit it all right you see this one's uh pretty much doing it the same th way we did it except for it's in a uh, normal syntax this one's using a for loop where uh, number equals zero and it's basically like a count and then uh, as it iterates through uh, each one, if it if uh, array of sheep at i at the at this index uh, equals true, then it's just going to add to the number, and then they're going to return the number, and then you got more of the same as you keep going down. All right, so let's go to mine. Uh, just 117 of us plus these people. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like it, and we'll see you next time.